We are still here at Teardown in Portland, which is Crowd Supply's big symposium festival get together of amazing creators and makers. And um, I'm about to speak to Andrew from USDR. Now, people who have been watching the Electromaker show for a while will be familiar with USDR because we covered their Crowd Supply campaign for one uh, of the items here. I can't remember exactly which one it was. Um, but for people who might not be aware, um, there is a massive community of people who are passionate about software defined radio. Yeah. Um, but what uh, what is uh, the software defined radio scene, and how does you USDR fit into it? So, like, particularly, specifically for the USDR, uh, our main goal was to change the user experience of the software defined radio. Because the, in the first place, when we decided to make it hardware, it was like kind of like what would what would distinguish us from the other like SDR vendors? Because there's like a bunch of hardware out there. And we were thinking in a way, okay, uh, what, what, what was your experience? Like, particularly my experience was horrible with the SDR in the first place. I mean, like, it's a bunch of dependencies, like, total mess, like, to make it up and running. And we thought, okay, what would be if we put the SDR in the web browser and make it simple for the people who never touch the SDR, but they need the functionality of the, uh, of the SDR. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the idea, uh, uh, WSDR, or WebSDR, you can call IO, yeah. where you can plug through the web USB technology, this tiny M2 uh, board. Mm -hmm. It is pretty capable. You can do like a bunch of stuff, like monitoring, like receivers, tr transceivers, uh, even the cellular network, mm -hmm. like like we uh, showcase in our video for that. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, and that's what distinguishes USDR besides that it's one uh, side component, mm -hmm. M2 Tiny. It's a full embeddable, so you can take the USDR and just embed it in any in, in any system you want to. Mm -hmm. So it not even like for like I don't know like hobbyist. It could be like mature for yeah. the any like engineering company or specific product in seller or direction fighting or I don't know like 4G, 5G yeah. uh, experiment and something like that. So. Uh, yeah, this is the USDR. That's that's uh, why we decided to make it web SDR mm -hmm. hardware and make it possible and be useful for people, not like a tough engineer. So like me, I mean, like I'm not mm -hmm. an engineer at all. I mean, yeah, I just, yeah. but I need the simple thing. No, I, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, that's yeah, one I, of the things I always come back to when I speak to people is not not being an engineer. Some people don't understand the need for simplicity, yeah. and, and and being able to bring that to something which is on the outside as complex as software defined radio yeah. is is a great thing. And uh, and, and being here uh, at the teardown event, you also uh, ran a workshop with a bunch of people yeah. using USDR. Yeah. Um, so what was what was the example for that? What was uh, what were the people in the workshop doing with the hardware? And what was the outcome for them? So basically, uh, the people who attend our like workshop today, they mostly they aware of the SDR. Yeah. Some of them like uh, uh, like completely aware. So basically, yeah. we don't need even guide them. So they okay, I'll, I'll take this like SDR, just yeah, plug exactly. it in and do something on their own, yeah. even without uh, uh, like our, our, our guidance. Mm -hmm. So, but the other people they just uh, explored the web platform. So yeah. they they saw yeah okay so hardware like like working with the Chrome uh, Web SDR platform and they just like go, we check in few applications yeah. we run cellular networks yeah. uh, we run um, you know, what else like a monitor mm -hmm. so uh, even like FM receiver mm -hmm. just you know just playing around with the platform like yeah, observing. Yeah. Uh, the possibility so mm -hmm. they just they were the question is it like specifically boils down to uh, use the R yeah. so and it's not so the yeah. platform itself is kind of like universal tool for uh, SDR that based on lime chip because yeah. okay. since like we're using like lime chip mm -hmm. uh, it's like use the R the next generation uh, it's like XSDR mm -hmm. which is based on LMS uh, 7002 mm -hmm. So like uh, two transceiver, two, uh, two transceiver to receiver uh, channel. Yeah. So also mm -hmm. it works, and we working on the pipeline with the Lime Micro and the Lime mm -hmm. product SDRs to be supported in the platform. So we Absolutely. we got yeah, some yeah. like success, mm -hmm. but it so far is just like an alpha uh, testing stage. So yeah. we kind of like not uh, can officially mm -hmm. announce that hey guys you can come up uh, and bring your like Lime SDR and play around with the platform. But it's mm -hmm. uh, in a, it's a near future. It's in near future. 
Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, and it's uh, one of the things I love about um, this community and the scene is that there are so many people that are doing that, who are making amazing hardware and amazing hardware tools, but are making software and supporting platforms that are able to be used with other things as well, giving yeah. a wide uh, range of support, which is something that I think is wonderful. Um, so with USDR, as I mentioned, we have uh, covered it before, but um, yeah. if people are interested in finding out more, maybe getting their hands on their own software, um, where's the best place to find USDR online? The crowd supply. At the crowd supply page. Of yeah. course, the crowd supply. I mean, Absolutely. like it's obviously. <laughs> so you should, uh, take a look. As there's a, um, we, we we just recently launched the uh, uh, XMAS, which yep. is a, uh, which is a synchronized board for XSDR. Yeah. It's like fully like modular, mm -hmm. so you can unplug and plug, and it's a pretty much great hardware for 5G. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just uh, go to Crowd Supply. You can type USDR. You can type Playback Lab, and you, it, it gets you to the product of uh, yeah, to the R product. So Absolutely, yeah. Serve, yeah, mm -hmm. there's different. In, yeah, there's like a different SDR. So we're working on not even like USDR. So it's mm -hmm. a. We're working on the line. It, yeah. There's like more like a professional stuff with the uh, extended range to eight gigahertz. Mm -hmm. uh, even more like a professional with the based on a different chip for like specifically 5G mm -hmm. application. So yeah, it's everything in the future, uh, and we made our bet on SDRs mm. and a web platform so and we're pretty happy with it <laughs> absolutely it seems like it was a pretty safe bet and you've definitely put in the work to, to make yeah. it work and um, and as mentioned that crowd supply link which is the best place to find usdr will be the first link you will find under this video it'll also be in the accompanying blog post about it uh, thank you so much for your time today thank cheers you so much thank mm -hmm. you so much guys so <laughs> i hope you enjoy if you have a questions or uh, anything or when you feedback because mm -hmm. we just uh, send the second batch to the uh, second batch to, uh, to crowd supply and uh, there's a third batch coming soon mm -hmm. for the crowd supply so please share your feedback mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's a on our page you can get in touch with us share feedback or issues if you run into so we'll be glad to answer you and support and yeah absolutely well up. Yeah, Keep it up. <laughs> definitely, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and as mentioned, that same link to the Crowd Supply page will also be the best place you can get in touch with the USDR team. Thank you once again thank so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, stopping by. <laughs> yeah, cheers.